Namaste, everybody. And today, 20th of June, it might not be a tradition in the UK, but it is a tradition in Argentina to celebrate Friends Day. So today is Friends Day. And uh, the reason why it's Friends Day today is because it's um, the anniversary of the moon landing. 20th of July is when Apollo landed on the moon. And according to our tradition in Argentina, we um, open up possibilities, opportunities to making new Martian friends, <laughs> new friends in the universe. So I just wanted you to take a moment and sit comfortably and think about a friend, a, a special friend that makes you smile, a friend that gives you that sense of warm in your heart and uh, will we'll offer it either for them or we will um, you know, send them some love, send them some energy. Liz wants to get in. Liz can't get in. Oh, it's because she didn't register. <laughs> Well, she's asking on Facebook. <laughs> ah, okay. Thank you, Geraldine. Okay, so sit up and make your attention. Yes. And keep your eyes closed as we let the head roll side to side. Stretching the neck. And then up the arms. Hello, Liz. making circles, doing anything that might feel good to do. Stretching up, look towards the hands and let the hands interlace behind your back and just let them stretch side to side. Bring both sides of your, both um, hands to the sides of your, of your hip and let that side of the neck be stretched. So if this is not available, just have the arm to the side and stretch it and change sides. Lovely. And release. Come to standing. We're going to start at the front of the mat with the feet hip di uh, mat distance apart. So a lot wider than your hips. And there will be a bit of uh, arms flying around. So uh, Phil and Kathy, make sure you have your stagger to yourselves. When you're standing with your legs out stretched, make sure that when you bend your knees, your knees go over your little toes and you can still see your big toes. So some of you might need to have the legs a bit wider apart, some a bit narrower. It depends on your height. Good. So inhale, bring your arms up, touching your fingertips. Exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, bring it up. So we are not going all the way down yet. Bend your knees. Sticking your bum out if you want. 
just activating the hip. That's it, very good, especially for Karen. Let a little bit of flexion happen. Good. Now, let your chest stay down, bring your fingertips towards the floor, your knees are bent, and straighten side to side. So straighten one leg and then the other. Go gently. If you need to have blocks underneath your hands, have blocks underneath your hands and just let your body sway side to side. Good. Now bring your tips, stay on the floor and bring your right leg back into a lizard pose. And rock onto your toes, stretching the back legs, stretching. Maybe you can extend the front knee as well. So we're letting the back leg and the front leg get a bit of a workout. That's it, good. Now release the back knee onto the floor and let the hands come back towards your knee, straightening the front knee, pointing your toes up towards the sky. That's it, good. And coming back towards the front, bring your left leg back, come into a supported plank. So your chest is over your wrist, your belly is engaged, and we're going to flex the elbows for seven. Keeping the elbows by the side of the ribs for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come into a downward facing dog. Breathe deeply, walk the dog. First down dog of the day. Let your back be straight. If your back is not straight, you need to bend your knees a little bit. Good. And we're going to bring the right leg out, keeping the leg parallel to the floor, heel towards the ground. And we're going to bring the right foot out straight, wherever it can reach. So bring it to the side, straight, and then bring it back. And then bring it across your left leg and bring it back. So right foot comes out to the side and back up. And then you cross it behind your left leg and back up. One more, bring it to the side and up and behind. And bring it back to center, come into plank. Knees onto the floor, seven press ups, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back up. And you can imagine that your best friend, that special friend, is cheering you on. Bring the left leg up and bring the foot to the side. Back to center and behind. So this will stretch the leg. You can bend the standing leg if you need to. Bring it back parallel to the floor and bring it to the side. Back up and behind. And up one more. Bring it to the side. And up and behind. And bring it back into down dog, knees onto the floor, chest over your wrists. You know what's coming. So imagine your friend cheering you on. Do it for them. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down dog. <laughs> right leg up. Look towards the hands and bring the right foot to the outside of your right hand. 
and sway backwards and forwards. That's it. See if you can straighten the front leg. Good. And bring the back foot forwards. Hands onto your shins, flatten your back. Exhale, fold forward, soften your knees. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale. Release, hands towards your heart. Good. Bring your legs together and let's release our wrists. So interlace your fingers and let your wrists move. So the elbows don't move a lot, just the wrists move. And you can do your lotus mudra, hands into a lotus position and let them roll towards you. And then change direction. That's it, good. And shake, shake, shake. Fabulous. So now bring your legs together. We have open and exercise the hips. Bring your feet together, legs together. Inhale, bring your arms around and up. Exhale, dive towards the floor. Inhale, hands onto your shins, flat back. Exhale, hands by the sides of your feet. Bring the right leg back, your left leg back. Breathe deeply. Bring your chest over your wrists. See if you can lower into Chaturanga. You can put your knees on the floor if you need to. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Keep your hands firmly on the floor and bring your left hand to hold onto your right ankle, calf muscle, knee, whatever you can. Push your hands on the floor. Feel the twist and the stretch. And bring it back to center. Keep pressing the hands on the floor, change sides. And back to center. Look towards the hands, lift the heels, bend the knees. Step or jump, flat back. Exhale, fall forwards, inhale, coming up. Exhale, release, hands towards your heart. Inhale, right leg up and bring the right foot back. So we are train tracking the feet. One, they are on the same line as your hips. That's it, good. And bring your hands behind you. You can have your hands, position one, holding your elbows. Position two, namaste, facing down. Position three, namaste, facing upwards. Whichever your position is, your shoulders should stay back. Expand up and then fold forwards. Just come in halfway first. Try to feel the legs, feel the stability. So don't go into a very complicated hand position. It's more important to let the hip flex and come down towards the floor. We are flexing from the hip, not from the back. The back is sort of straight and hanging in there. And the elbows lift, the shoulders lift. One more breath. And push all the way up. Release the hands, bring your feet together. Hands together. So even for me, having my hands in namaste behind is quite demanding. I can feel it on the elbows and on the wrists. So for the second one, I will have my hands in namaste down. If this is your position or even this, that's fine. I'd rather you do that than have your hands too complicated or too demanding and your shoulders sloping forwards. This is an exercise to let your shoulders stretch out. So hands towards your heart, left leg up and just make a wide step back. 
Check that your feet are parallel to the long end of the mat. Your legs are engaged. Good. And get the hands position in a way that is sustainable. Shoulders back. Inhale, open your chest. And as you exhale, come halfway and feel your legs firmly on the floor. And then let yourselves go down towards the ground. Letting your chin go towards your shin. Your head is relaxed. Shoulders go towards each other. One more breath. Push your feet into the floor to come up and release your hands. Coming to the front of the mat. Good. Shake your arms, shake your legs. We're going to do a vinyasa and come onto the floor. Have your feet either hip distance or together. A vinyasa is like a mini sun salutation. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fall forwards. Inhale, hands onto your shins, flatten your back, shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, hands by the sides of the feet, bring the leg back into plank. Bend your elbows, lowering into Chaturanga. You can have your knees on the floor. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look towards your hands, above empty, jump into sitting. And bring your legs forwards into boat pose. So you can have your shins parallel to the floor or your legs outstretch, toes pointing towards your forehead. And we kick that for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bend your knees. Bring your knees towards you and rock and roll on your back, making a curve in your back to let you rock and roll easily. Now bring your left leg out, right leg in, left hand onto your right knee and open up sideways. That's it. If if the twist is not available, then have the hand next to your left leg. It's more important to open the side body than to have a twist. Good, bring it back to center, legs up, rock and roll and change sides. Opposite hand to knee to have a twist or the same hand as the leg that is extended Good. Back to rock and roll. And bring your legs into a small V. That's it. Good. Bring your arms in front of you. And flexing your feet, reach forwards. And bring it back up. Opening the arms, opening the chest. Reach forwards. Hollow in your belly. And bring it up. One more. Reach over the ball and bring it up and go across, reaching across and across, twisting and extending the arms, across and across and across and bring yourselves back to centre. Bring your legs together. We're going to bring the left foot over the right leg for a seated twist. So make sure that the right foot is pointing towards the ceiling. And we hug the knee, left knee with the right elbow. Inhale, extend, and as you exhale, look over your shoulder. We're going to do five breaths in here. Make each breath count. Thinking of your friend, smiling. And bringing yourselves back to this present moment, this twist.
Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, bring your right hand behind you. Left foot turns a little bit. Come onto the side of your hip and come into a side plank. For five breaths. Lovely. Bring yourselves back to center and change legs. This time your right leg comes over your left. Left elbow hugs your right knee. Right hand goes behind. Open the chest. Feel the stretch on the glute. Smile for your friend. Friends Day, 20th of July. Looking over your shoulder. When you've done your five breaths here, bring the left hand behind, turn the right foot so that it's perpendicular to the side of the mat, come onto the side of your left leg, and from there, you push with the hand, with the leg, with the arm for five breaths. And bring it back to center. Bring your feet together quite away from you. So you're making a diamond shape with your legs and let your head rests towards the floor. This is the turtle pose. If this is comfortable and you want to go a little bit further, you can bring your hands underneath and press maybe your hands onto the floor and your shins against your forearms. You just let your head come towards your feet. And bring your chest up. You can keep, you can bring your hips closer to your heels and keep your legs apart if it feels comfortable. Or you can bring your legs out, stretch in Shavasana. If you have your feet together, knees apart, you can have your arms into a cactus position. This is your goddess pose. And these two might not be comfortable for your lower back, in which case you can bend your knees and let your knees rest against each other and your feet flat on the floor. Choose the position that you will stay in. And we're going to concentrate on the breath. Feeling the three-dimensional breath that comes all the way onto your belly and your ribs and your collarbones. And when you exhale, you release your belly, your ribs and your collarbones. Three part breath. And if you are in your goddess pose or any other permutation, you can stretch your legs and be in full Shavasana. Feel the weight of your body. And let your spine unravel, your legs unravel. Send love to your wrists. We're working hard today. And 
your shoulder blades and your chest. Relax your neck and relax your face. Just for one minute, try to get all of your attention concentrated into your breath. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, roll your head side to side. Bring your head back to center, bring your knees towards your chest. Make big circles with your knees, massaging the lower back. Change direction. Let both knees rest to one side, opening the arm to the other side. Have a nice stretch and a twist and change sides. Now bring yourselves back to center. Bring your hands underneath your knees, lift your head. Rock backwards and forwards. And come up into sitting. Close your eyes. Just feel that your back is long and your neck is long and you are straight. Your chin is slightly tucked in. Bring to mind your friend. And smile. Maybe bring your hands into your heart. Namaste, or just resting on your heart. Feeling the vibration of your three arms and shanty. And how to begin. Oh. together, rub your palms, make the movement a little faster, generating prana between your hands and place your palms over your face, inhale deeply, open your eyes to the darkness of your hands, slide your hands to your chest and bow your heads. Namaste. Give yourself a clap, well done.
Well done, well done. I hope you enjoy that stronger practice today.